Hello everybody and welcome to my 38th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the activate and deactivate worksheet events. So these are the events that will activate when you move on to or off of the sheet so to speak. So when we're in sheet 3 and we click on home then that's when that event is going to activate and then when we click back off of it that's when the deactivate is going to activate. So let's just put them both in here. So again, just click on our worksheet and then activate. And then let's also put in deactivate as well. And get rid of the selection change. And then now we can just use these quite simply. Um, so let's just put in for worksheet activate uh, message box. Welcome to the worksheets. Hope you enjoy your stay. And then in our deactivate one, let's just put another one, say message box. So I hope to see you again soon. Alright then, so let's just go on to this, so let's just go into our thing, so let's try and go away, and it's going to say, I hope to see you again soon, and then it's going to go into the other sheet, and when we go back into it, it says, welcome to the worksheet, hope you enjoy your stay. So very simply, you can you can use these to, to do whatever you want to do when they come onto the worksheet, or when they go away from it, so you can put some validation on to to check where whether they filled it in right when they try to click off of it and go onto the next sheet or you can um, when they activate it you could just highlight a certain area that they need to look at first or something like that um, if you don't if say you want to just keep them on the same sheet then what you can do on the worksheet deactivate just put um, uh, this workbook dot sheets um, dot activate um, and then whenever we try and move away it's going to come back uh, and it's welcoming us back to the worksheet because the activation one is, is kicking in so if you wanted to get rid of the activation one just remember that code we used before in the worksheet to change so application dot enable events equals false um, so just remember that you can use that one if you want to so that the whenever we click on it it switches back but it doesn't then you do the activation one um, so that's it for this tutorial very quick one um, only a couple of minutes long so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial when I'm going to start going into uh, workbook events